we have two parametric equations here. And starting off, we want to go ahead and get an initial graph going based off of t is anything equal to greater than zero. And we want to find the rectangular equivalent. So plugging in zero for both, uh, any exponent raised to the zero is just one. So x equals one, y equals one. And then we plug in uh, one. So e raised to the negative one is one over e. And then um, uh, one plugged into x is equal to e. So for like, that'd be like 2.718, and one over that, so uh, something over here. And then it just keeps decreasing and decreasing. So something like this. Nah, crap. So there you go. All right, so to find this, uh, it doesn't really matter which one we substitute for, I'll just do x. So. In order to get x, we have to take the anti-lock, so ln x is equal to ln e raised to the t. This e and this ln cancel out, and we get ln x is equal to t. Plug this into the equation up there, so we get y is equal to e raised to the negative ln x. This cancels out. We get y is equal to um, negative x, negative, not negative x, 1 over x, excuse me, because the negative, uh, negative is equal to negative x. Uh, so, so that's equal to 1 over x, and then that brings it down. Then multiply it by x, and we get y, x is equal to 1. And that makes sense about, um, because if you, at point 1, 1, they're both 1 equals 1, and as you go out here, uh, let's say x is equal to uh, 3, uh, y is pretty much equal to the reciprocal of that. So for 3, you'd have 1 over 3 and so forth. So there's our equation for the rectangular form, and we have our, have our graph.